Your creations begin with me. March 9, 2014 My beloved ones, the mighty waves of your global process of fundamental changes are at their peak. They have been there now for a while and they will not come immediately to a sudden rest. This is because there are natural laws of ebb and flow at work. They should not be suddenly interrupted for the sake of human safety and the safety of all life on planet Earth. This is the time of the great shift, and what has been too long already in power must step back now. What you can influence though is the frequency pattern of the waves, their intensity, their magnitude, their heaviness to put them more at ease. So you have the power to tone down the already fading heads of the old dying Hydra to allow your new world to emerge. However you must know your power for change in the correct way. It is not based on your mind to begin with. Because mind itself is always busy and unsteady. That is its nature. Very few of you are able to keep their mind focused and one-pointed, as they understand to use the faculty of the higher mind, based on higher intelligence. But if you long to do the real work, you choose to invoke and unite with me. You want to draw on the means of firm profundity, when you are to calm down what is in turmoil, when you are to ease what seems to be uncontrollable. So to be optimally effective, you want to make use of the most profound leverage, the power of me, your own divine brilliant consciousness. Therefore your mind must cooperate with me, you see, you must not allow your mind to wander off in your head, weakened by the functioning of your dual brain. It must be resting with me, as I am the mind's source condition. The inexhaustible and most solid substance of reality itself, the divine well in which is hidden and possible to emerge all you desire. Without that very foundation that I am, your every impulse to create does not bear steady fruits, and comes rather in pairs, that what you want and that what you don't want. So your process of divinely inspired creations always begins with me. Because it is your continually fluctuating and changing body-mind itself, which is the starting point of all your creations, that must be brought into the right disposition first, it must be brought to rest in me. This is in itself the most essential creation that you are to perform. And so your very first creation is the surrender of the body-mind to what is great, that foundation, that fullness, that eternity that is me. Only from their pure and divine thought can emerge your body-mind filled with the power of the current of my presence, brought to my peace, to my stillness, to the zero point of all possibilities. Then you might create whatever you desire. This powerful presence of mine, when you allow it to radiate, already alone calms down all agitations, to bring ease and change to harmful situations. This is the most important and senior creation, the very first creation you were responsible for, to create yourself in the way of reflecting your most profound truth that is me. First I must be established in and as you. Then all the powers of creation are yours. To invoke my presence into your body mind and into your world has the most profound effect on dissolving what is not from me and what does not conform with me. That is how you change yourself, that is how you change your world. If you choose to engage your mind, based on true establishment of my tangible presence as radiant love bliss consciousness, to reach out to wherever you desire, with feeling and vision that your goal is already accomplished, you will work miracles. If you truly are able to control one point of your mind, steadily turn to me. Until then let my blessing presence be sufficient. I am your God Self. Channeled by Utaposagarudel. Radiantlyhappy.blogspot.com